How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. This week I'm building a diorama depicting the moments after the scene in Rogue One where Sagarera's men ambush the Imperial tank to steal some kyber crystals. This is the same model kit that I used for my ATST Raider from the Mandalorian project that I did a little while ago. The kit comes with the eyes permanently shut, so I used a drill and an X-Acto knife to cut those out. Unfortunately, I did cut off one of the sides of the eyes, so I had to go back and glue that back on. Luckily, I found the piece. I guess they're not really eyes, they're more like they're, they're windows. Uh, either way, this is the model that you would see on Hoth, so in order to make it look more like the one seen in Rogue One, I added some springs to the back of the legs. For the base, I glued together four old model stands. Happened to be just the right size. Then I cut out a piece of styrene to go on top. This creates a nice, consistent surface. I did almost cut my finger while doing this, so... As a piece of advice, if you ever notice that you're about to cut your finger, uh, stop and move your finger. After that, I plotted out the layout for the buildings. I did finally cave and buy myself the hot wire table from Proxon. I knew this was going to improve my workflow, I just wasn't prepared for how drastically it was going to improve my workflow. This isn't a sponsored post, I'm just genuinely happy with this product. You can use this in a variety of ways, uh, right here I'm using it like a scroll saw, you can also use it like a band saw or a table saw, and it can be mitered. So the applications for this are pretty much limitless. This foam cutting portion probably would have taken me three or four times longer without the table, uh, which opens up a lot of possibilities for larger builds in shorter amounts of time. If you are considering buying one of these or if you thought, hey, I could probably use that, I think you will probably get some good use out of this. I know I sure will. For the building that gets shot by the tank, I used a knife to cut out some pieces for rubble, and I used the freehand hot wire cutting tool to carve out a little bit more detail and some different levels inside the building. I also used it to carve some battle damage into the rest of the buildings. After that, it was time to glue the buildings down to the base and start with the detailing. I used a variety of pieces, including some 3D printed ones as well as parts from old models. Cut out some pieces of styrene in the shape of the buildings to make it look a little cleaner. And I sanded down the styrene on the bottom so that the glue would adhere a little better when I added the sand and the rubble. After the sand was on, I sprayed it with some isopropyl alcohol. This helps the sealer spread out a little better. The sealer is basically just white glue and water. Then I left some imprints with the vehicles. I then sealed all of the foam with a mixture of Mod Podge and paint. Uh, the paint is to help see where you have put the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is to protect it from the primer. I picked out my colors and it was time to paint.
With all of the base colors down, I moved on to some of the finishing touches, including some light dusting of sandy pigment, some dry brushing to help some of those edges pop, and a few of the standalone features like the crate. I downloaded these stormtroopers from Straker's Armory off of Thingiverse. They were a little too small to spend my time painting each one individually, so I just painted them all black, then used a top-down spray of white. I think it did a pretty good job. Then went on to painting the ATST and the tank. After the painting was done, it was time to remove all of the stormtroopers from their little tray. This was quite the task. They were pretty fragile and they were still attached to their supports. Luckily, I only broke two or three. Then I added them all to the diorama. I also added the tank and the ATST. And once those were in place, I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content and you want to see a little bit more, you can always join me at my Patreon. I'll put a link for that in the description. Otherwise, have a great week. I will see you all next time.